All right, so coming here to the vlog, we are here at Audi of Jacksonville. Now, right here, we have the base model Rolls-Royce Cullinan. This one is priced at $362,000 for the base model Rolls-Royce Cullinan. Look, we have the orange pinstripes. I love that detail. And we have a Cayenne GTS right here. We have a Camaro ZL1, a Dodge Charger Hellcat, Porsche 997 Turbo S, and a Porsche 991.2 GT3, a Lamborghini Huracan LP580-2, a sick McLaren 720 S Spider Huracan Evo Coupe, and then a C8 convertible and a Bentley Continental GT, and also a Bentley Bentayga Speed. All right, so this GT3 right here, it is a PDK, not a manual, but you do have a red roll cage inside of it. Just take a look at that. That is so, so cool. And this color, I don't exactly know the name of it, but it is just so amazing. Now, this is a Huracan Evo rear wheel drive because you can tell by the front bumper over here. From the back, it pretty much looks like a normal Huracan Evo rear wheel drive. Well, normal. Yeah, just take a look at that beauty. And then this is the real beauty right here. This is definitely a top spec McLaren 720S. Now, this is a a spider because you can just see the convertible right here and look if you notice they have actually buttresses right there to direct the airflow onto the top of the wing of the car and then it just flows through the smooth lines of this car it's just one of the best designed supercars ever in my opinion look at those bronze wheels it looks so so good and the headlights is just so mean looking and over here we have a c8 convertible this one is not the automatic convertible but it is still a drop top but you have to take the top off manually out of the type r over here honestly more comfortable than i expected oh also another quick car over here bmw m6 competition such a cool thing okay guys out of all these cars over here which is your favorite the huracan evo rear wheel drive the huracan rear wheel drive lp580-2 this custom-made mclaren 720s the c8 the bentley continental gt the bentega speed the cullinan macan gts zl1 or the Hellcat, or this 997 Turbo S. For me, it's either the GT3 or the 720S or the Huracan Evo rear wheel drive. I think I would choose the 720S out of all of them. Just look at it. The spec on this thing, whoever specced it, oh my gosh, they did such an incredible job. Just look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, the C8 in Arctic white looks really, really good too. The Bentley, let's check on this interior because Bentleys have one of the most amazing interiors ever so pretty the cullinan i'm not a big fan of because it has a v12 but it is a twin turbocharged v12 but it is not very fast at all i don't really like the shape of it either it looks like a g-wagon and i don't really like g-wagons at all either i think the cullinan is way overpriced and i think a bentley bentega is a much better deal for the money because the Bentley Bentayga has all that speed, but the Cullinan does not. And the Cullinan doesn't even really have that much of innovation, while Bentley is just doing so much cool things with their interiors. It's just so cool. Also, I think the Bentleys look a little bit better. All right, now we are here at Porsche of Jacksonville, Florida, right here. Now, right here is a custom-made spec Porsche GT3, the 991.2 generation. This spec is so, so good. We have all the red logos everywhere. And then we have the Porsche decal on the wing right here in the red stripe. And then we also have the roll cage. Let's see if it's a manual or not. And yes, this is a manual transmission car. The 991.2 generation looks so much better, in my opinion, compared to the 991.1. I just love this car so much. One of the best exhaust notes ever and also paired with the manual transmission one of the ultimate driver's cars ever on sale today and we have a bunch of porsche cayennes there's also a turbo se hybrid somewhere in this lot we have a whole bunch of 911s and also a turbo s right there and all the way at the end over there there is a 992 911 paired with a six-speed manual transmission and also over here older 911 looks really good and in the showroom over there we have a turbo s the older one i'm pretty sure that's a 997 generation we have a panamera over here we also have an orange macan gts and then a few other tycon for us is inside of the dealership we have a g-wagon one of the most overrated cars in my opinion then look at this the rapid blue and orange c8 corvette 
These things are so, so beautiful. The rapid blue is one of my favorite colors and actually it is my favorite color in the entire world. But just take a look at the rear of these two things. Such a good looking rear end in my opinion. And no, it is not just a Camaro taillights with a mid-engine layout. It is much more than that. And also over here, 750 horsepower Mustang Roush. Macan GTS, we have a Cayman, and then we have a Taycan 4S, and we actually have like five other Taycan 4S's back there. We also have a 911 Turbo S991.2 Cabriolet, then over here is a 992-911. Now this one, it looks like it has bronze wheels, but no, those are not bronze wheels. They're actually just really, really dirty. That is the black Cayman GT4 over here. And then there is the 911 Carrera 4S right there with the manual transmission. But anyway, that is basically it. Bye. Dang, that Taycan looks like a spaceship on the road. And I guess we are ending off the video by at home and then we got a hyper dog going around. Please subscribe lol I have big dreams on YouTube. Oh, my God.